going on everyone? Levi here with Fox Ridge Slabs. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're gonna cut some cookies. I've got a chunk of maple right here. This was the very base of the tree. 36 inch diameter um, and then it flares out to about 45 inches at the base. Um, I've got a 2x10 screwed down. You might be able to see the black shims that are on the other side that are just keeping it balanced. Uh, this board is not going anywhere so that's what we're going to use to make the first cut. Um, I'll show you over here what we're using for cutting the cookies. Right here I have a steel MS881. Um, got a 54 inch bar on it, uh, a Granberg MK4 Alaskan mill, it's a 48 inch mill. Um, the bar is from Granberg and uh, it has a Granberg ripping chain on it right now. I've never tried using a ripping chain to cut cookies. We're gonna try it. I think it's gonna work pretty well. So stick with me. We're gonna start cutting and we're gonna see what we get. first cut is done um, we use this board to level off the surface we're gonna take the board off and we're gonna see how level it is We're gonna take one three and a quarter inch cookie and um, we're gonna see how it looks and go from there. that went really well never cut cookies with a ripping chain um, I can definitely say that I'll be doing it more it cut just as fast if not faster than a standard uh, 30 degree angle chain um, cuts are smooth as butter barely any saw marks 
in there. This was the biggest one, so I got five total, I think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Three and a quarter inches thick. And this is 40 inches at the widest here to 36 inches. There just, there isn't enough um, in that chunk to get another cookie. Uh, on, on our end, it looks really thick, but it narrows to less than two inches thick. So we're just gonna pass on the rest of that. That'll be firewood, camp firewood, whatever. Um, these cookies, like I said, uh, they'll be ready to go probably in two to three years. They'll dry for at least a year and a half, um, air dry, and then they'll get in the kiln. Um, two years, year and a half, two years, maybe longer. We'll see. I've got a lot of wood in the lineup waiting to get into the kiln, so um, I don't know. We'll see. Special shout out to RZ Mask. Um, in this video, cutting the cookies, um, you saw me wearing a mask. Uh, there's a lot more sawdust than you think that's flying around, especially just little sawdust particles. And um, if you mill, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't wear a dust mask, a respirator, anything like that, you feel it at the end of the day. And um, I just want to protect my lungs. So make sure that you check out RZ Mask. Um, find something to protect your lungs when you're woodworking, when you're milling. It could very easily save your life. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.